Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the bacterial growth curve, the four phases of the bacterial growth curve as well as the mathematical derivation of the doubling time or the generation time. Okay, so now let's see what are the four main phases of the bacterial growth curve. Basically, the bacterial growth curve is divided into these four phases that we have uh, just seen in this video. The first phase is the lag phase, uh, which is also called the preparatory phase, where the bacteria prepares itself to adjust and let, get acclimatized with the new environment that it has been introduced to. It can be a fresh culture media or any enriched environment. The second phase is the exponential phase or the log phase. Uh, when the bacteria enters the exponential or the log phase, it exponentially divides itself and it doubles itself. So uh, it increases uh, in number with a, uh, with a mathematical expression of 2 to the power n, where n is the number of generations. Now coming to the stationary phase, uh, where there is no net increase in the number of cells, but that does not mean that all the cells have stopped growing or have stopped dividing. Uh, it actually means that in the stationary phase, the number of cells that are generated is equated with that of the number of cells that are dying every moment. So there is no net increase uh, in the number of cells. Now, the last phase is the decline phase or the death phase, uh, which obviously occurs uh, due to the lack of nutrition in the media or maybe due to some other external factors that is, that is responsible for the death of the cell. So this brings uh, the optical density of the culture media down uh, towards the uh, x-axis but it never touches the x-axis solely so the death phase only stops after a certain time because there is a, a maybe there is a, the number of viable cells uh, will decrease uh, to the minimum but uh, the cell mass still remains and the optical density still remains so there is no uh, total decrease uh, or decline in the death phase so uh, that's all about the four phases of the bacterial growth curve and now we will see the mathematical expression behind the generation time that is the doubling time of the bacteria now let's see that how can we calculate the generation time from the given bacterial growth curve the population data are plotted with the logarithmic axis used for the number of cells the time to double the population number is then read directly from the plot so when we are going to calculate the generation time, we are going to take only the exponential phase into consideration. So the increase in number of cells versus the time. That's how we are going to plot and we are going to calculate the generation time. The observations can be expressed as equation given here. That is nt equals to n0 multiplied by 2 to the power n. Now let's see what these values signify. n0 signifies the initial population number. While n nt signifies the population at time t. n is the number of generations in time t. Now we will solve this equation for the number of generations in time t that is n. So getting all logarithms are to the base 10 we get the same equation in this form. The rate of growth during the exponential phase in a batch culture can be expressed in terms of mean growth rate constant, that is kappa. 
This is the number of generations per unit time, which is often expressed as generations per hour. Now, solving the equation for number of generations per hour, that is k. The time it takes a population to double in size, that is the mean generation time, which is expressed as g. It also is the mean doubling time. This can now be calculated. If the population doubles, then t equals to g. Then nt equals to 2n0. Now we will substitute 2n0 into the mean growth rate equation above for k. Hence, from this equation, we can calculate that k is equal to 1 by g. Or, we can also write it in a, this way, that is g equals to 1 by k. So, please give your feedback about this video in the comment box below and ask if there is any question or doubt.